I'm in the middle of the woods. The sun is shining. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux, and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. All right, let's talk, because I feel like we need to talk. Oh my God. All right, so let's talk about the drama. First of all, a lot of people were asking me if this is a real vault and all that stuff like that. So yes, this is a vault, although it's not a real vault. It is part of the PR Jaclyn Hill collection that came out like what, last year or two years ago or something like that. It, it has like these like crystal little dials, but it opens up and I do have the vault collection. It's right here. Like, I'm telling you guys, I, I am such a fanatic when it comes to like the beauty guru makeup and stuff like that because it's such a collection to me. Like it's so like, you have these normal people like Jaclyn Hill who sat in front of her window with natural light doing makeup reviews to now becoming a multi-millionaire and coming out with products. So these little stuff right here are like moments in time. It's not just a palette, it's like, it has meaning, you know? And so this was the Vault Collection. This was the original packaging for it. And, I rem and for those of you who don't know, it had four different palettes, right? And there was, of course, there was drama. One of the palettes, people said it was all chalky the house and Jaclyn Hill made a response. And it's just like, it's, it's, more, it's so much drama behind it, okay? So yes, it is a vault and I keep stuff in it. Preferably like limited edition makeup and stuff like that that no one even cares about. But I do, I think it's fascinating and fun. All right, so let's talk about Jeffree Star because Jeffree Star's in the woods, girl. She's in the woods hanging out with the Sasquatch girl. So Jeffree Star, uh, if you don't know, he had a huge massive sale on his website. After that, he got in his Rolls Royce, he got on a jet, and went on an adventure, he says. Let me roll you the clip, here we go. Good morning, everyone. I am about to catch a flight, and I am off for a little adventure. Wish me luck, and I will see you guys soon. Good morning, everyone. I'm in the middle of the woods. I want the best crepes in Montana. Bitch, come here. It is so fucking beautiful here in Montana. You guys, I'm out here doing some real estate hunting. Um, definitely ready to become a resident somewhere else as well. You know, I love California forever, but Montana and Wyoming, bitch, I'll be seeing a lot of you very soon. Like, I'm really trying to live on a ranch for a few months out of the year, me and the dogs. I'm also opening up a few businesses out here, which you guys will find out later. Um, but there's just so many exciting things happening. And I also needed a little mental breather. LA has been so crazy. There was, of course, a fire the other day. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> so, um, I'm out of town for a few days, and one of my best friends lives here. Um, and I just fucking love Montana. So, if you see me out and about, say hi. To go enjoy this amazing breakfast from Stuffed. I'm a crepe dessert whore, so if you are in town, you gotta check it out. Ah, very interesting tea. So Jeffree Star, apparently some people say he's on vacation, he has taken a trip, he's running, he's hiding, and all that stuff like that. So I just think that Jeffree Star with this picture right here was a very calculated move because so many people were coming for him when he said he was going to go something about his grandma. And then the Poindexters were like, well, if you see here, it was uh, last year he posted the same photo. He's reusing pictures. Therefore, he is a liar. And they pointed that out and they called Jeffree every star out because of that. I've never been in a private jet. I've been in many places. The bathroom stall at the Ross. I've been in many places, the bathroom stall at the Marshalls, but I've never been on a private jet. That's yet something I have I have not done yet, but maybe soon, maybe soon. It's just the fact that it's like $5,000 just to go from here to Vegas in the private jet. And that's just for the jet. Cause for $5,000, you can have a whole Vegas experience. But damn, just 5K just to start up the jet, just to get there and you still have to get your room. And I, I don't know, it's just a lot of money to do that. But anyways, one Day, we'll see girl if I get enough taco money enough likes on the video maybe you'll see me in a jet girl and you already right know I'm gonna sit just like Jeffree Star have my full fake fur coat on and I'm gonna have my Birkin that I got at Payless girl Burlington Birkin my Burlington Birkin I'm just sit there full 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 fake leather coach whatever you want to fur coat I already practiced my move girl I'm like this. I got take take the picture put the camera a little higher so I look skinnier like just boom, like that. You can't tell me nothing, girl. And of course, they'll come for me in the comments, but they always do. Oh, there's another dislike right there. So anyway, so Jeffree Star's in the woods. People are all up upset because apparently Jeffree Star can have a life or do whatever she wants. And like, you know, one of the biggest 
criticisms I get on this channel is like, how dare you defend Jeffree Star? Like, how dare he go on a trip? When he hasn't even apologized for his apology video. Like, people are so, like, upset. It's almost like, are you okay, girl? Like, let's just talk. Like, are you okay? Like, is it really that serious? You know, I find it interesting and fun. That's why I talk about it. But, like, I don't really go too deep into it. Maybe that's why I'm people get upset. Because maybe they do and I just don't. Whatever. I got other things going on. But I just find it so interesting. But I don't find it, like, I don't know. I think of it this way. When it comes to the drama... I kind of cover like just like the surface, but I don't really go deep down into like, you know, the belly of it, you know, and that's down there is where the real drama is. I'm just gonna wanna stay over there. But yeah, one of the British criticisms is like, oh, you defend Jeffree Star. Look, Jeffree Star can defend himself wholeheartedly. I can't move unless they move. Same thing with James Charles. They said, I got so much hate the other day for defending James Charles. And I'm like, there's no, if there's no proof, there's no proof, right? I do find it very suspicious that the same type of drama does keep coming up with James Charles when it comes to boys that he flirts with on the internet. Like that is a, that keeps happening over and over. Yes, I do find that suspicious, but I'm not defending James Charles. He can defend himself at the end of the day. I sided with him in the situation. You know, I even reached out and I spoke to James Charles about the situation. I even asked James Charles, I was like, look, if there are any videos you want me to delete that you don't like, like, let me know. He's like, he didn't say anything. He's totally fine. He's back to like, but no, I'm not sitting up there talking on the phone with James Charles trying to hang out. Let's do makeup together because that's something I was trying to steer, steer, steer away from since last year. You know, Jacqueline Hill uh, sent me a message and she invited me to her Halloween party last year. And although I really wanted to go and I find her to be a nice person and stuff very interesting i find her to be very very interesting like i would love to just like sit down her over there i'll be over here keep like multiple cameras rolling and be like okay let's talk i want to ask you some questions jacqueline hill but i don't want to go too deep into it because then it's it's going to be just like a broken record but just i want to ask you a few questions like like do you own morphe like very superficial questions like what's your favorite birkin like i would love to interview these people, but just very superficial, nothing about the drama. She invited me to her Halloween party. I kindly declined because I felt like it's like a conflict of interest. I felt like if I get to see Jaclyn Hill on that more real level, you know, then I feel like I really can't report the news on Jaclyn Hill because then I'm gonna naturally have some bias toward Jaclyn Hill because I actually met her in person and found out, wow, she's a human, she has a heart, she's a nice person and stuff like that, you know? So when you see the people or talk to them, it is it makes it difficult to somewhat report the news. So that's why I've spoken to is Jeffree Star, Norvina, I love her so much. That's nothing, Norvina. If people knew Norvina, she's the most sweetest person I've ever met. She's one of those people that she just wants everyone to win. Like she literally just wants everyone to win. And for those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, damn this damn eyelash girl. Norvina is the daughter of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Creative genius girl. She's one of those people who roots for everybody. She's always promoting everyone's collab, showing off everyone's makeup. Like literally she's like a peacekeeper in the community. And I think we need more people like her. With that being said, the Jeffree Star situation, I met Jeffree Star several times and I got to see a different side of him that not that many people do. And I don't even think he wants his people to see that side of him um, because he comes across very like, like rich bitch, stone cold, all that drama. But I don't know, does any of that make sense? You know, and this same thing with Shane Dawson, super kind person, at least to me, but I can see how it does like come around and like bite me and it does, and I get the criticism for it. That's why I just kind of like nip it in the bud. Like, okay, fine, those people I've actually met and got to know, or at least they got to show me what they wanted me to see, you know? But like, as for like hanging out with the TikTokers and the James Charles, like I did something I just don't want to do. And the Jaclyn Hills and Nikki tutorials, that's just something I don't want to do because I try to keep the authenticity of the channel. I just wish some people were there to see how these people really are behind the camera because they're just generally nice people. And that's something that Sebastian Williams had said in his other video that they're nice people, that he's met them. He's met the other side. He's met the people that I that I haven't met. And at the end of the day, I do think Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, Nikita Dragon, the TikTokers, Charlie D'Amelio, Jacqueline Hill, and everyone, I just think they're just normal people just honestly just trying to do the best they can with what they got going on. And then ensues all the drama and stuff like that. You know, when it comes to some people just naturally have their mind made up, that they don't like somebody and that's fine. You know, I, I feel that way. I feel like if you just don't like somebody, you don't like somebody. It's gonna be hard to like change your mind and the people who love them are gonna continue to love them. Back to Jeffree Star, people are upset because he's apparently he's in the woods and he's not allowed to travel and he's not wearing a mask at a restaurant and meeting fans and all that stuff. You know, I think a lot of people have had like 
fatigue when it comes to COVID. I, I think it's I think it's real. I think people should wear a mask. But with that being said, I'm gonna pass it on to you guys. Do you think that he should not have gone on this trip and he should just stay at home in his huge mansion and not go on any trip? The thing that I've noticed with Jeffrey Star is that he could very well have kept this private, right? He didn't have to show him in a Rolls Royce going to the private jet. He didn't have to show him in the private jet. He didn't have to show himself and hanging out and in the woods. He didn't have to do that. Cause I feel like there are many other influencers who are going on trips, but they're not posting. They're not saying anything at all. They're pretending that they're at home. They're doing close up shots. So you don't really see what's going on in the background. With Jeffree Star in that case, hate him or love him, at least he's showing you what he's doing and he's not hiding it, you know? Cause he very well could have not posted anything and then been on this trip and no one would have known. But but I do think it's a much needed time. He needed to go to the woods and you just never know what people are going through. You know, who knows what he's going through in relationships with people in his life. So maybe he needed that break. I don't know. All I'm saying is Jeffree Star's in the woods and people are upset that the man is in the woods. And I hope that he's out there and he's a Sasquatch does my makeup. He can get one of his assistants to dress up like a giant Sasquatch and he's in the woods and he's just hanging out in the woods and he's like, Oh my God, there's Sasquatch. Sasquatch do my makeup, girl. And the Sasquatch does his makeup the house. That's, I would watch that video. Seeing the whole zipper on the back of the Sasquatch there, I would love, I, that video would get a million views. Nobody has done Sasquatch does my makeup in the woods. And if he does that video, I need a little credit in description and all that stuff because I'm gonna do that video one day. I'm gonna have my friend dress up like a Sasquatch and I'm gonna go, I don't, hold on. I just wanna say, for y'all come for me, because y'all always do. Up oh, there's another this tag right there. I do not want to offend the Sasquatch community. If I offended the Sasquatch YouTube community, which one of the most vicious communities on YouTube, there are people who think Sasquatch is real. They think Michael Jackson is still alive. They think Elvis Presley is still alive. I don't want to offend the Michael Jackson YouTube community. I do not want to offend the you know Elvis Las Vegas community. I don't. I'm just saying. Sasquatch, I'm sorry I don't want to offend y'all, but I, I'm gonna have my friend just like a Sasquatch and he's gonna have Sasquatch, he's gonna do my makeup in the woods before Jeff Star does it. Well, hopefully he does it first and I get shot out. But yeah, like this video if you want to see Sasquatch in the woods because I'll make it happen, girl. Can we, or hey, hey darling, can we order like on Amazon, like a really good Sasquatch like costume and then we'll go to the woods and we'll shoot. Okay, well, first of all, I don't even know how to get, I live in the city, I'm a city girl. I'm a city girl, I don't even know how to get to the woods, but we'll find, maybe we'll go to Huntsville or Beaumont or y'all guys know where that's at? We'll go over there and then we'll shoot, no girl, we'll go to like El Paso or something or Dallas or Austin, Texas, somewhere, somewhere rural part of Texas and we'll shoot in the woods, like Conroe, someplace no one cares about. Just joking, girl. All right, so yeah, we'll do that. And yeah, so let me know what you think about Jeffree Star being in the woods. And are you upset? Are you mad? Do you care? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.